Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're in a slightly different setup today. Um, I'm actually in Birmingham. I have got a photo shoot tomorrow morning. So I've traveled up the day before. It's something super, super exciting, uh, which I can't wait to be revealed to you guys. But I just thought I've done a lot of like makeup and underwear and clothing stuff recently. And I haven't done kind of like a sit down life update chat with me video. Basically since I did that, 2020 goals video in my car and once again we're in like a totally different setup having a live update with you I love these kind of videos I feel like it's actually just like two friends talking especially when I'm like in a situation like this and of course I've got myself some food got some bits from Leon if you guys know about the Leon waffle fries then you know shouldn't really be eating fries before a photo shoot tomorrow but we move. What's this? Oh my god, we got chicken. Anyway, as I was saying, I wanted to do another life update with you guys, actually touching base on some of the stuff that I spoke about in that 2020 goals video. Um, and I just want to see, I don't know, if you guys can relate to what I'm feeling and yeah, just give you a little update as to what's going on. It's super chilled. I've literally got like no makeup on. I need to do my hair after this. Does anyone else like to do sort of like pre- like prep their hair the night before something like my hair is so frizzy right now so tonight i'm gonna straighten it so that i can curl it in the morning i don't know but that's what i'll be doing after this anyway rambling over it's time to get into this live update video and let you know what's the book is going on so i'm not actually 100 percent so sure what i've titled this video i know i've titled it about a life update but because I'm mainly just going to be talking about one thing that I'm finally doing, which is something that I have spoken about. And I'm so excited I can finally share because um, I didn't want to jinx it and say that it was 100% happening and then it not 100% happen. But drum roll, please. And chicken nugget first. I am moving to Manchester, which I am so so excited about and basically what i wanted to just sort of like touch base on and talk to you guys about in this video i know probably a lot of you watching this are actually from manchester so please accept me into your amazing amazing city i am so excited to move it is my like one of my favorite places to go when i come up to visit like han and mads and amber and elliot and like all my friends that live up here i literally never want to leave i love going up there so much it's literally just like a mini london i feel like everything is all in one place they have such amazing fun things to do i feel like you could do something different every night of the year and it just be so much fun and so i kind of thought to myself that being 20 at 20 i just didn't want a repeat of last year so this is kind of where i'm gonna get a little bit deep and real with you guys and just see if you can like relate to um how i'm feeling so basically i have lived what well, i had i moved out at 18 19 i think and had my first place on my own I should probably turn my phone off while i'm doing this and had my first place on my own i think i did an apartment tour maybe with my first place i'm not sure i probably did because i probably would have wanted to document the uh, the moment but i can't actually remember anyway that the people that owned the flat my first ever landlords whatever after a year of me living here yeah, they wanted to sell it they just they i think they bought it as like an investment property and then just decided they want to sell it which means i have to move out so i did got myself another place nearby in the same sort of like area again lived there for a year and i naturally am just someone that loves to host i love to host events love to have people around i love to like provide food and drinks and just like organize events and stuff i've always told myself um if i wasn't in the job that i was doing i would love to go into events planning and management and stuff i just feel like i've got a vision for that kind of thing i don't know so living on my own for me is actually so much fun and i really really love it but then i lived at my second place for a year and again the landlord said that they wanted to sell it. So the process of going from one flat to the other last time was just so stressful. I was kind of like rushed into finding another place and I just didn't want to do that again. I didn't want to move for the third time in two years. It's just, especially when I give my address out to loads of PRs and stuff like that, it's just draining. I have to keep changing, you know, um, 
the address and updating people and I still get packages to those old addresses that I have to go and get. It just was a nightmare. But luckily at the same time I was moving or like being told to move out. My parents were moving house as well and the house they were moving to had like extra space that I could um, essentially use and work in and stuff. So she, my mum was just like, why don't you just move home um, and live, obviously like live at home just so you can, you know, decide what you want to do next whether it's you want to live at home for the foreseeable future and save up to buy somewhere or i don't know just come live with your family because to be fair when i was living on my own for the second time did find myself getting a little bit lonely and my anxiety of just like being with other people suddenly like increased and as someone that naturally like loves to be with people and like social events and stuff that was really weird for me, I don't know, I don't know if it was like the additional stress of like not actually wanting to live in that place. I don't know, so for a number of reasons my mum said, why don't you just come home? And I said, okay. Obviously that was at the beginning of 2019. And if I think about my personal life for the whole of 2019, I feel like I know what I would like, complete flatline. Like I don't know if it was because I moved home and didn't have my own space anymore or just, yeah, not having my own space just made me feel a little bit restricted in what I could and couldn't do. Um, just other so certain situations like affecting my confidence and just my outlook on relationships in general. And I don't know, just like I, my business and work life um, was a little bit affected as well because I didn't have my own space. I felt like creatively, I couldn't be as expressive and I didn't have the space to do the content that I really wanted to do last year. So I feel like it's kind of slacked a little bit. Don't know if you guys will have like noticed or anything. I had to like kind of think outside of the box and do a lot of videos that like weren't at home, which again is kind of another reason why maybe like the makeup content last year kind of slacked a little bit. I just hated the space I was in. It felt very claustrophobic. I, like because I had so much stuff in my previous places when I lived on my own it was all spread out um because I had that space and then obviously just having and then moving to a house that I'm only allowed like a, a room or so in um is quite the big adjustment um in terms of how much stuff you, it, it was just very claustrophobic and overwhelming and I just think for the past for like 2019 I just felt very very trapped sorry my camera overheated just then and i thought that would be a good time to um take a bite out of this halloumi the grilled halloumi wrap that they do oh so freaking good it's like halloumi pickles like i actually quite like pickles salad mayonnaise oh no it's not mayonnaise actually it's garlic aioli even better mm. but right yeah as I was saying, because I was suddenly then going from having my own space to such little space, I just felt trapped. All my stuff literally like towering over me constantly. I don't know how anyone is expected to be like creative in an environment like that. And why would you want to have people over in such like a messy space? And I think a messy space can really reflect on how you feel on the inside as a person. That's why people always say like cleaning is so therapeutic when you're in like a clean environment and you've tidied everything, it just makes you feel a little bit better. So as the new year came around, I, I kind of told myself, do you know what? I cannot have another year like that. I'm so glad I did take that year um, to come at home and just be with my family and stuff like that. Just kind of basically like recharge myself. But um, I'm 100% ready to live on my own again. I miss it so, so, so much. And me and my friend Jack, um, Makeup by Jack on Instagram, as you know, did actually speak about moving to Manchester and living together last year. And I've always spoken about it to my friends, always kind of joked about it with Hannah and Mads being like, oh, I really like wish that I lived here. When the new year came around, I spoke to Jack a little bit more and I just kind of thought, oh... I don't think I can do it. Like he was 100% doing it and he is doing it. And I was just like, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. And then I was watching something on TV. It sounds as random as it sounds. I was watching something on TV and this woman was just talking about how, you know, she'd just lived in France for a year and she'd come back and she was doing this, and whatever. And I was like, Rachel, it's not permanent. Like what is holding you back from just having 
a new experience for the year like it's just a year and I know that sounds so silly to say and you should never like wish time away it's like all that we've got essentially but in the grand scheme of things a year is actually not that long of a time and I, I think what was throwing me off was just like if I was going to get homesick and stuff but then again I was thinking to myself I go to Manchester all the time it is just as easy for me to come back from Manchester to see the people that I miss um, just like it was so easy for me to go up to Manchester to see the people that I missed. Do you know what I mean? So I just thought, fuck it. I'm moving. So yeah, I'm moving to Manchester at the end of February. So the end of this month, um, which is so exciting. I live so close to so many of my friends. I'm already just thinking about like having them out for dinner and like movie nights and just like all of that kind of stuff. I'm like... You can see it in my face, I literally can't stop smiling. I am so, so, so excited. And um, the place that I'm moving to is absolutely beautiful. Um, I've been obsessed with like, as I've already said, Amazon hauls and people like doing room makeover videos. I'm actually not gonna be able to make over rooms quite so literally because I'm renting, so I can't do like any major decoration work. But I feel like definitely going to be doing some like homeware hauls um, because I'm moving so far. I am just going to have to buy a lot of like new furniture. It's so expensive to move furniture from where I live, which is in the Surrey area, um, up to Manchester. As you can imagine, these removal men will have to travel for hours, pack everything up, load it up, take it there, unload it all of that kind of stuff so it's quite a, it can be quite an expensive process so I think it's probably going to cost me the same amount to do that than it would be just to like buy new stuff and I love buying new stuff um I love starting again and that's another thing that I just wanted to see if you guys could like relate to when I move to Manchester I really feel like that's going to be the start of a new chapter for me obviously the obvious uh, thing being just I'm in a completely new town where I don't know everyone um, so I can start fresh in that sense but I just feel like this is going to be like a key switch for me to really just like get my life in order. I'm going to have the space to be able to do the creative content that I want so fire Instagrams and Instagram videos and IGTV videos and Instagram lives all of that kind of stuff. Um, is pending I'm gonna have the most amazing makeup setup that I've not seen anyone have before like in terms of the idea that I've got so again can't wait to film and show you that all of these like content things and um, creative things I I'm just I'm so excited for what's to come in that aspect and again I'm so excited for what's to come in terms of my personal life I've got all the facilities around me in Manchester to really like I don't want to change myself like quite so literally but I do just want to be the best version of myself this year. I turned 24 at the end of this year and ever since I was 18 I've always just thought 24 is going to be the year for me. I don't know why. I just I feel like it is. I think it's maybe psychologically 2 plus 2 plus 4 is 6. And um, that's my favourite number, my lucky number. I'm born on like the 6th of October 1996. Sixes have always just sort of been around me and a good vibes for me. This year, as in the year that I do turn 24, is 2020. It's literally a brand new decade, is it? Decade. Um, and 2020 is just like clear vision. I don't know. I've just always just thought 24 is going to be my best year. Um, which is obviously at the end of this year. But then I feel like I just want to look and feel my best and have done so much before that point and I feel like I've got this year to do it you know I've got this brand new space um I'm gonna try and get into like the best shape of my life I just want nothing to hold me back when I turn 24 I'm not really sure what I'm talking about um <laughs> at this point like I'm not sure what I think is holding me back I feel like last year it was the lack of space and the lack of freedom I've never been a hundred percent confident with my body and appearance so I feel like I want to get that in check um, I'm not not confident but I just I don't know I just want to be like a hundred percent happy in all aspects of my life and I feel like that's that should be a goal for everyone and I feel like yeah I don't know I just feel like completely reinventing myself this year a new space, new town, new year, 
knew me i don't know that's kind of what i wanted to say kind of give you a little bit of a life update i know i have gone on like 750 different tangents in this video i hope you've kept up with me and are excited for this new chapter of my life and i can't wait to take you along with me moving vlogs pending apartment tours pending storage videos pending if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff amazon hauls all sorts of new Instagram content because I will finally have the space to do it. So make sure you are following me on Instagram. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel with the notification bell on so you can be updated with all of these kind of exciting new vlogs and videos that are gonna come. Um, yeah, sorry, it wasn't, it was like a mukbang, but kind of not a mukbang. I got food and didn't really 100% eat it on camera, but I just wanted to get all of my words out before i forget what i'm saying and i think i covered everything so to summarize this video one i'm currently in birmingham shooting something really exciting tomorrow which i'm sure i would have been posting on my stories like a little behind the scenes today when this goes up two i'm moving to manchester at the end of february which is so exciting three gave you a little bit of a backstory of how i really felt in 2019 and just Maybe a little bit of advice. Like maybe I can end this video with a bit of advice. If you're feeling trapped um, in your personal life, um, I'm not just saying like get up and move, but I maybe feel like, I don't know. Find out what's really the root of the problems. And for me, it was the, my, it's been my environment, people I was around and just my lack of space. Um, that's what's affecting me and I feel like, I don't know, for me, I need this. I need to move town. I need my own space again. Um, so, actually, I'm not sure what my advice is. But maybe maybe it's not advice that I give at the end of this video. Maybe it's just inspiration and motivation. Um, if you've been feeling like me and you need a sign to just do something, this is it. Mine was the lady on TV telling me that she lived in France for a year. <laughs> I know, it's so random, but this is your sign. That thing you've always wanted to do, just go ahead and do it. I feel like with what's gone on in the news recently, January has been just so crazy, like globally, with all the stuff that's going on. And if it's taught us one thing, it's just you've got to live your days and your life. Like, it's the last. It's the last, you know what I mean? You only get one life people say you only live once but you also only die once so you want to make the most of the time that you have here because you don't actually know when that's gonna when your when your last day is and i just was not gonna have another year like last year i need to make the most of my life and fuck it nothing is like nothing is permanent if you don't want it to be moving can be so temporary and if you've always wanted to go to that place, go to that place. If you've always wanted to pack up and move to Manchester like me, just do it. Like, what is stopping you? Because for me, I was stopping me. I was holding myself back. I was convincing myself out of it. And yeah, with it just being the new year, I've just had to change my mentality on that kind of thing. And I've just thought, fuck it. That's my advice. Fuck it. I feel like I haven't made a huge amount of sense and I've rambled a lot. And like I said, gone on lots of different tangents. Pretty sure I tried to end this video like five minutes ago. But here I am suddenly talking about how like life is short and you only die once. Like what is this hot mess of a video? I'm not sure. But I hope you guys enjoyed the vibes of this. The chill vibes of this. If you can relate, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you're from Manchester, please give me some, you know advice favorite places to go favorite things to do i hope to see you around in manchester as obviously i will be living there but yeah i'm gonna get back to my leon halloumi wrap and it just chill and watch a little bit of love island in my hotel room but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i promise to keep you updated if anything else happens but yeah like i said stay tuned for the brand new content that will probably come in the next couple of months or so um but yeah, make sure you're following me again on Instagram and you're subscribed to my YouTube channel so I can keep you updated. Did that make sense? I don't know. My brain just feels fuzzy and so filled with words and just feelings right now. So I feel like this is where I should just end the video. I'm tired and hungry. 
I think I said everything that I want to say. If there's anything you want any more clarification on, just shoot me a comment in the comment section down below and I will get back to you. I love you guys so, so, so much. I'm excited for you to come on this next chapter with me and watch me become the best version of me. So on that note, I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.